Happy Telling Tuesday! Look around me. I am in Rocky Mountain National Park and it is phenomenally gorgeous. So today, my story comes from this beautiful place. It's a fable, but I imagine it happening just right around the bend of this river right here. You see, the little cottontails, they were agitated. They had spent years and years in persecution. They're, they're so small and so meek, and even though it was conjured up in their head a lot, they felt like every animal was out to do them harm. The squirrels were teasing them and wanted to steal their food. The moose, they were sure, were going to stomp on them. And one little cottontail said, This is too much. I just can't handle it. Let's go and end it all. We can just drown ourselves in the river. Oh my goodness. Whew. And so, when the little cottontails saw a moose come ambling out towards them, that was the last straw. They all began bounding, bouncing all the way towards the river. But just as they were getting close to the river's edge, this beautiful Colorado River, there were some wood frogs there on the edge of the river. And those cottontails startled the wood frogs and they went hopping one, two, three into the river. And the cottontails stopped. They said, oh. They saw the frogs jumping into the river and obviously they weren't too aware of what they were and they thought, well, I guess no matter how bad it gets for us, it's always worse for somebody else. And because they watched those frogs jump in, well, they went home and they decided that they could endure. And the frogs, well, they were just as happy as could be. And so is life in the Rocky Mountain National Park.